Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see workload protection in Defender for Cloud. Well, we'll uh, cover the new alert simulation which should be helpful for the security alerts that are configured for virtual machines. So, let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I am logged on to the portal. Let me click on Microsoft Defender for Cloud. And let me just quickly check the environment settings if I have uh, enabled because usually at the end of the lab I turn it off. I enabled it again so I am on to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud. You look at workload protection under cloud security. Okay, now make sure that you have virtual machines selected. So, subscription, default directory, scroll down, advanced protection, VL vulnerability, none unprotected, none unprotected. Okay, now when you click on the security alerts, these are the security alerts that were uh, generated. Now if you click on security alert map, sample alerts, these are the sample alerts. If you click on virtual machine, click on here. I am creating sample alerts for my uh, only my virtual machine. You can create it for all of them but in this video we will keep it to only virtual machines. So let me wait for it. Sample alerts creation is in progress. Now successfully created sample alerts. It usually takes two minutes, right? Now, now I see these, let me drag that up if it, no, it doesn't. So, if you see the high alerts here, digital currency mining related behavior detected, detected suspicious file cleanup commands, Detected PIDA uh, uh, ransomware indicators, executable found running from a suspension location, suspicion, the suspicious PHP execution detector. Right. So now, each alert has the sample alert banner next to it. Right. So if you see, the kind of attack is execution, execution pre attack. Now, I will click on Digital Currency Mining. Right. It's a sample alert that I created. You click on View Fuel Details. The details open. Notice the alert properties at the top. The severity is high. the status and the time with the alerts description and affected resources. At the bottom part you can see the kill chain intent of the alert based. The specific alert is at the, at the execution phase. Right? This is at the execution phase. If you read more about it, the kill chain intent of the alert based on the MITRE attack framework. To explore the full details of the alert, you click on uh, full details. Here you can copy the alert JSON. This is a sample alert analysis of the host data on sample VM detected the execution of a process or command normally associated with digital currency mining. Okay. Now, if you want to create an alert simulation for Key Vault, simulate 
same way if you want to take an action on this it is a sample alert you do not have option you review the sample account these or the subscription command process and the command line to confirm that this is legitimate activity prevent you can prevent the future attacks as well solving uh, security recommendations can prevent future attacks you will have the logic app to automated response same way if you want to uh, create the sample alerts for key vault i'll do this i'll only select key vault and i'll do create sample alerts for key vault it is done let me refresh sample vm sample key vault okay let me click on user access high volumes and you click on full details and the affected resource user access high volume of key vaults it gives you the vault operations in last 24 hours you can choose to trigger sample alerts for additional work load protection plans as well so if you see the list you have containers sql databases resource manager sql server on machine cost most of these accounts containers app services etc all right this is how you make the use of sample alerts you can configure alerts as well i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day